You have your friend Kate here. That must be nice. What's the story with you two? <laughs> it's no story. Just old friends. Camp counselors, right? That's right, yeah. That must have been a whole lot of fun. It was. Maybe some of the best summers of my life. Sadie Robertson, part of Duck Dynasty, plays a resort activities assistant in Hallmark Channel Sun, Sand, and Romance. Welcome, yes. Sadie. Thanks, guys. It's been a while since we've seen you. You've been so yeah. busy, though, out on the road doing your speaking engagements and crazy. tour. But this movie, how did it all come about for you? Well, it's actually kind of crazy and a dream because it was a dream for me to be in a Hallmark movie. Me too, Because I love them. Kit is well, dying. If okay. you can do anything to get her on it. You can do it. How did yeah. you do it? This is how I did it. So, you know, acting world is like totally different than the world that I'm used to. And so I wasn't really sure if I wanted to be in movies or do acting, but my agents were like, look, this would be great for you. I'm like, yeah, but if I like am in a movie that's not very appropriate and then I go speak and motivate young kids to like make the better choice, it just doesn't add up. And so I was like, I think the only movies that I could be in that I would feel really confident in the messaging is a Hallmark movie. And they're like, okay, well, why don't we go meet the people? Ooh. So I come to LA and I meet the people and they're like, oh my gosh, you're like a Hallmark in a person. And I was like, <laughs> oh, thanks. And I was like, that's the greatest compliment ever. And so it just kind of happened and it seriously was so fun. And um, yeah, it's the cutest movie. So it's a romance. You play a camp counselor, so there are a lot of yes. fun activities that you got to do, horseback riding. You know, everything. I wasn't involved with the horseback riding, which is probably a good thing because I'm not very good at horseback riding. But it was really cool because my brother was actually an activities director at a summer camp. At the same time, I was playing an activities director at that camp, so it was kind of fun to do that at the same time. What he was in real life. Your speaking engagements you're talking about, this is a true passion for you yeah. with your yes. books. So what's the big message that you talk about? Yeah, so my message is Live Original, and that was the first book that I wrote. I have a new book coming out called Live Fearless, and this uh, tour is kind of focused on Live Fearless side of things, and so it's just going to be me motivating people. But to, what do you talk about? What are the subjects? Uh, so this one for Fearless is talking about just coming out of the life of fear and living a life of freedom, and a lot of times I just encourage and motivate people to be confident in the person that they were created to be. So yeah, it's really cool. It's a lot of high school and college age, and it's awesome. What I love is the positive messaging for young girls in particular, mm -hmm. and self self-image and self-worth and mm -hmm. I know you early on when you were doing some modeling even had to deal with some of the criticism right they were like if you lose oh, 10 gosh, pounds sure. <laughs> what do they tell you oh yeah they would tell me all the time it touch these sides if you would just lose this then you would look like a real model or what and but it's I mean that's how the game is but for me you know I think that it's really hard because girls do have to hear that a lot. And even if you're not a model, you have to hear it at school. You have to see it on Instagram. You have to see it on Twitter. And it's so important. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I walk through some, some insecurities with that. But coming out of that, um, it's become a real passion of mine to really speak that confidence into people and not to care what's on the outside, but really and truly focus on your heart because you are going to get those comments. And you can't really help that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of passion, you were talking about an ex-boyfriend that you broke up with and you called it false passion. So what does that mean? Well, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So my boyfriend and I, we dated for three years and everybody was like such fans of our relationship, like goals this and goals that. And uh, then we broke up and I never really went back to that and said why or said anything. But I think if we came to this point in our relationship where we were kind of disinfatuated by each other, and we weren't necessarily making each other better. I wasn't really making him better. He wasn't really making me better. And it wasn't a great relationship and it was kind of false passion. We were passionate about not the best things about each other or in our so life. So it'd be kind of like fights, but they'd be heightened and then you make up and yeah. like sort of the excitement exactly. of it or the... A lot of back and forth, a lot of fighting, a lot of happy, and a lot of... It's great on Instagram, but it's not great yeah. in person, and that's not a healthy relationship. Well, you blogged about it. You said, you know, we welcomed mm -hmm. sin in, and, uh, you know, you said uh, we unintentionally removed ourselves from the foundation of true love. I mean, why yeah. was that important for you to put that out there? Because I think that in relationships, um, especially nowadays, I don't think that people understand the depth of welcoming sin into your relationship as far as maybe it's impurity, maybe it's um, downgrading comments, maybe it's manipulation, and that happens, that happened in my relationship. And when you welcome that in, it creates a really unhealthy um, foundation. And from that, fear gets involved, insecurity gets involved. That's whenever I start struggling with how I look all the time and I get scared of things all the time. And I started realizing that when I, before I went into that relationship, I didn't have those feelings. Why do I have them now? Because I welcome sin into my life. And so many girls have been able to relate and even guys too. And I'm really thankful that my ex-boyfriend approved the message 
so that I could put it out there and we were able to come to that agreement that, hey, that was not great, but let's encourage people so they don't walk down that so same path. So you checked in with him first. Absolutely. Before, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a public knowledge, so yeah. you have to. Yeah. What's your family up to these days? What are they doing? Yeah, we, is there going to be a Duck Dynasty reunion at some point Man. on Annie? I hope so. Yeah, we actually just got back from Peru. We went to Machu Picchu. Ooh, it was that's awesome. so beautiful. Still sore. My legs were dead. Um, but yeah, the family is just at home. My dad and mom, they started a church in and they're actually like doing great things in Louisiana. Um, and they are loving living just a normal life. My dad golfs every day. He jokes that he's in retirement. So Wait, funny. look at your dad right there. So Do you funny. ever think he looks like Zach Brown? Oh my gosh, uh, this is actually funny. Before he was famous, we went to Nashville, which I live there now, it's funny. But we went to Nashville and my dad dressed up like Zach Brown and went on the streets and people thought it was him and took pictures with him. That's like awesome. that was before anybody knew who he was. That's great. All right, so and Uncle Cy, quickly, what's crazy Uncle Cy doing? Okay, y'all are gonna die. He is actually like pursuing a singing music career. Stop it. No, I'm not really? kidding. I'm not kidding. Like that's, pop star that's for real. Or country. Like, he literally told me he's like, Sadie, I'm gonna be in Nashville playing at um this bar if you're if you wanna come. I'm like, Okay, first of all, like, I don't even think I'm old enough to come, but if I am, I will be there. We need a visual of that. It's the funniest thing. He's when terrible, is he performing? We got to be there. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Like, it's like very small places, but I did go <laughs> to his concert or whatever, and it was so bad. It's oh, so it's going to be fantastic. So it's going to be so bad, but so good. Oh, yeah. So Sadie, bad. you're so adorable. Good. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, y'all. Congrats. You made it into Hallmark. You're saying I got a chance. I did. Sun, Sand, and Romance premieres Saturday at 9 on the Hallmark Channel.